Mark chapter 4, verse 35, we read of a moment where it kind of got a little out of control. As evening came, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross to the other side of the lake. And so they took Jesus in the boat and they started out, leaving the crowds behind, although other boats followed. I'm really not sure I've ever seen that in the Bible, other boats. I didn't know there was other boats. I just thought it was theirs. It's fascinating to me. I wonder what happened to them. I wonder if they were scared. But soon a fierce storm came up. High waves were breaking into the boat and began to fill with water. Jesus was sleeping at the back of the boat. His head is on a cushion. Disciples woke him up shouting, Teacher, don't you care that we're going to drown? Why did you make us get in this boat? We're going to die. Amazing moment. Jesus needs a little bit of time away. Needs to clear his head a little bit. He's exhausted, he's tired, he's frustrated. Maybe he's, he's just spiritually spent, but he needs a little time away. Anybody ever, right? Absolutely. And he understands who he is, and, and so he knows, I just need to get in a boat and, and float away from this for a little bit. And that's okay. So he gets in a boat with his disciples, and he lays down to rest. And he falls asleep. But during the time of travel here, a storm hits, and it's a massive storm, and they're in trouble. So much so that these experienced people who are good in a boat and know what to do and know how to navigate the, this body of water and know how to survive are fearful for their life. They're afraid, right? So you know if the boat guys are afraid, it's a mess. It, you know, it's like, I would be afraid because I wouldn't know what to do. I, I wouldn't have any clue. Uh, but as long as the ship's captain is okay and assures me that we're going to make it, I, okay, 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 you got this? I've got this. We'll be fine. But the ship's captain is going, ah, right? We're in trouble. Ah, paddle faster. Paddle faster. And it's intense. And Jesus is still sleeping. How dare him? How dare him sleep? I like this little thought that he says, like, um, and I don't know why, I don't know why Mark records it this way. He says, Jesus was sleeping at the back of the boat with his head on a cushion. Who cares? Head on a cushion? What is my, is it my pillow that's making that happen? Like, it must be a great cushion. Holy moly. So the disciples wake him up and they say something startling. Don't you care? Don't you care? As if he doesn't. And Jesus says to the wind and the waves, calm down. I also think he was saying it to the disciples. Calm down. And everything calms down. And they were so scared of Jesus at that moment. It's fascinating, right? They're scared of Jesus at that moment. And said, they said, who is this guy that the wind and the waves obey him? I don't think they were like, hey, uh, could you snap your fingers and make this all go away? I think they were just saying, grab an oar, buddy. Help us out. I can't believe you'd be sleeping, but Jesus does something even more amazing than they probably were even thinking. They were bothered by Jesus sleeping. The reality is, as the Bible tells us, that God never falls asleep. He doesn't sleep or slumber. He's always aware. He knows what's going on in our lives. He's pretty much, he's good. Jesus was touch, teaching those men that day, you can trust me. I'll give you peace in the midst of a storm. And when sorrow comes, I'll give you peace and you can trust me. When anxiety shows up, and it will, you can trust me. Now there's, I'm not trying to make it sound like, oh, that's it, that's all I gotta do and everything will be fine. No, sometimes there's, got, there's more work that needs to be done on these subjects. Overcoming temptation and overcoming Stress and depression and anxiety is more than just like, oh, all I got to do is pray a prayer and it goes away. No. 
but the prayer might say, God, I, I don't know what to do about this. And then he says, maybe you should just go to a counselor. Talk to a trusted friend. Surround yourself with good people. Begin the process. But let me help you every step of the way. Peace, be still. How do I know that you are real, God? How do I know that you care? How do I know these things? And we can either trust him or test him. We either trust the goodness of God or we test the goodness of God. It's a real temptation that comes our way. 